What are we getting all dressed up for? I've been up since seven. I haven't eaten all day. I'm, I'm just tired. I know, I know. Just go along with it. It's only for a little while. Try to be gracious. Ooh la la, Jack. Terrific. A surprise party. Jack, I'm uh, really bushed. Could we do this some other time? We deserve something special, Ryan. Come on, relax. Hammering ourselves into the ground for a long time. Yeah, and if anybody deserves a little... <laughs> Whoa! Deserves a little party, I think that it's us. Don't you ought to celebrate our good luck, if you like. Uh, luck? I feel as though I've been through Blender. Good, then a little champagne will do wonders for you, won't it? Champagne's gonna wipe me I out. I want to give a little toast to the most successful hunters of cursed objects in the whole wide neighborhood. Uh, sorry, uh, we're closed. I have come to return something that belongs to you. Take it. Hey, come back here. What is this? He sure knows how to make an exit. Let's take a look at this. Egyptian canopic jar, is that what this could be? That's exactly what it is. They use these to preserve the internal organs of the mummies. All right, that's well, the easiest we've ever got anything back. Hand delivered, no less. I'll, I'll go put it in the vault. Mickey, you want to give me a hand? It's getting crowded down there. Yeah, but you carry it. It's funny. I don't remember this entry. Hundreds of strange things in there, Jack. You can't remember everything. And no customer's name. Oh, it's all right. What happened? The air broke. Guess I know what I'm doing tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning. Just get to see the ball. See what I mean? The place is a mess. Well, let's start by putting the lighted things on top. Light? Are you kidding? This thing's a dead weight. What's wrong? <laughs> Rashid, I got her in town. How fast can you get over here? What? What's happening? I don't know. Such a great idea. You saw what the doll did last time. We sold it this family. It's our responsibility.
Check over there. Fine, I'm here! I don't see the doll anywhere. Where's the phone? Yes, we need an ambulance. Uh, 33 Downingham Way. Look, here she is. No, wait. Um, yeah, sorry. Um. at your house last night. You know why I'm here, don't you? You want to take Vita away. No. I don't want to take Vita. I have to. You better go away. Not until you give her to me. Exactly what has happened? I'm not even sure. Yes, someone delivered a canopic funerary jar. It was wrapped in this. And then somehow the jar became opened while Mickey and, and Ryan were putting it down in the vault. Then all hell broke loose. They're sealed in there with that thing. Jack, this is Old Kingdom. Perhaps 5,000 years old. What did the jar look like? Well, it, 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 it was uh, green. Uh, the stopper was the Anubis-headed guard. What can we do? Anubis? It may be too late to do anything. What the hell is that? Ultraviolet light. Thought you were gonna use magic. You use what you've got, please. Yes, there, there. Amon? Phtah? Hotep? Horus? 
the hawk-headed god. Horus. Souls escort through the halls of the dead. Yes. The jar, it was open? Yeah, there was some kind of green gas coming out of it. I thought so. Natron. The salt solution used to preserve the bodies and the organs of the mummies. Are you certain you cannot open the vault? Of course, I'm sure. I did everything possible, Rashid. Jack, there is a legend, it, a translation, really, of the glyphs from the temple of Amun-Ra, which describes the fate of those who breathe the fumes from a canopic jar. They are condemned to experience an epic death dream in which they relive the most horrifying experiences of their lives. And then? This nightmare continues over and over and over until the terror causes their hearts to burst. How long have they got? Well, let me see. From the time they breathe the fumes, four hours. It's about an hour ago. Go until midnight. Hi. I couldn't get to a phone until now. I was worried. I didn't know what happened to you. I had to go with them, or else they would have gotten suspicious. Why don't you come over? We'll spend the rest of the night together. All right. Did you get back to Cupid? Yeah. I'm so glad. See you soon. I love you. so long for this. Tonight, it'll be just the three of us. You? Sorry. We overheard your little phone call with Lori. Where is she? Safe. You can't get at her. I'll give you the Cupid. You tricked me. Vicky, let me in. This was for me and Laurie. Why? So you could kill her. I don't want to. I have to. It might as well be you. Just like that other girl tonight. She made fun of me. No more. She finally said she loved me. They all will. Even you. <laughs> Now, why don't you be a good fella and just run along and let the little lady and I have some fun? You leave her alone. What are you gonna do about it? Eddie, Eddie, put down the axe. You want it? Come and get it! <laughs>
powerful beings here. If the mixtures are not perfect, or the spells go wrong... Yes, Rashid. All right, it's ready. Within the bounds of the earth, beyond the ken of men, Entombed in chambers of stone, let the antiquities awake in the name of Potek, Aladek, Mindonor. Let the walls tremble and all spells sunder. Keepers of the seventh gate, I command you, open! Less than three hours before the curse kills them. What else can we try? There is one thing you can do. Send me into their nightmare. You have to. They're dying. You of all people should understand the danger. You have never traveled in this dimension. It could be. Rashid, is there only hope? Perhaps. But for you to go into their death dream, God only knows what will happen if you do. I know what will happen if I don't. I really appreciate what you're doing. Yes, because okay. you just relax. That's something you city folks never seem to learn. That's it. You just lay back. I'll take care of everything.
Joel! Ah. Ah. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? There's a dead girl back there. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. You're trying to steal the secret of the luck. And you killed her to keep her quiet. Oh. 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 No. Say goodbye. And recruit is sensitive. All right, all right. The conjunction is coming. Now, the atomy. Now, drink it and hang on. Something is trying to get through. <laughs> Hello, Jack. I wish I could say it was good to see you. Lewis! <laughs> what have you done to them? My niece and nephew are paying a price for interfering. And it'll keep on until they die. Then the forces of darkness will take over this store. And once again, Satan's toys will flow across this world like an unholy tide. Sweeping everything before it. Not while I'm alive. You won't be alive, Jack. Don't you understand? You'll be in hell, taking my place. And I'll be back behind the counter. I sent you to hell before, Lewis, and I can do it again. I'm not going back. You fools! Do you think you can stop me? I'm sure as hell gonna try. We have work to do. Ronobis Belfagior, foul spirit, I adjure thee, be gone! Well, that won't keep him away for long. Oh, hurry, damn it, we haven't got much more time. The Metron gas provided them a bridge to the netherworld. But we, we must find another way in.
trap. Did you really think you could stop me? Don't you know who I am? He with the power to give life and take it away. Take a look at this, huh? There it is. What do you think? I don't believe it. March 1947. Volume 1, Issue 1. Tales of the Undead. The first introduction of Ferris the Invincible. You know that's my favorite. What do you think I'm showing it to you for? <laughs> I got it at an estate sale. They had no idea what they had. But that's not the most important thing. Take a look at who signed it. Jay Starr? Is that for real? Yeah, sure it is. <laughs> How much you want for it? Hey, I'm selling it at auction. You know, the big one the Briggs is holding day after tomorrow. You stay right here. I'm going to go home and bust open my piggy bank. You got that much in your piggy bank? Man, I'm in the wrong business. See you later. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Damn it, Punk, you leave that alone! I can't leave! Oh, I'm gonna have it! You just bought yourself a lot of trouble, Punk. Ugh. All right, you want it hard? I'm calling the cops. Entering your enemy's territory. 
This is where Satan holds sway. Well, I've faced him before with less to lose. Without you, remember, he will do everything in his power to turn you from your task. He will attack you where you are most vulnerable, through your love. If he succeeds and Mickey and Ryan die while you are still in their dream... I die with them. When you are in there, you will find a barrier. If you can cause them to, to disbelieve, to turn away from the dream, perhaps you can break down the barrier and get them free. This is the only chance you've got. But Satan will try to tempt you, to turn you, to twist you. Remember, Jack, Satan will not fight fair. When did he ever? Well, it's time. His soul, Jack. You can't save Mickey or Ryan. They're already dead. But you can save your son. Peter will burn forever unless you save him now. Think of it, Jack. Your only son at my mercy for eternity. Dad, is it really you? I can make him whole again, Jack. Radiant with life as he was before. All you have to do is abandon the search. No! Peter's dead! Just reach out, and you can take him back with you. Dad! Peter, do you want to go home with your father? Help me, Dad. I just want to come home. Peter, you're lying! Jack, you can't leave your only son in hell. Daddy! You're ready for anything. If she's got it, I'm sure she won't want to part with it. But first, you must become one of us.
him out of the cave. Don't let him go. Get away from him! She, Jack has died. He just took a wrong turn. The demons are tormenting his soul. You're next. The psychic link between you and Jack is going to kill you, Rashi. Hell must have made you slow and stupid if you think I believe that, Lewis. Just step outside the pinnacle and I can save you both. No! Ricky, Ryan! What is this? It's a dream. It's only a dream. Listen, Jack. You were right. That wasn't your son. And I didn't want to do that to you, Jack. Ricky, Ryan! You want to save my niece and nephew, then change places with me, Jack. And I can end all this in a moment. No deal, Lewis, now or ever. No longer yours. She is mine. Mine. Say your prayers, my young friend. For it will be the last thing you will ever say. Lewis burns for eternity. Or longer. Jack, are you all right? I saw Peter in there. Who? My son. 
No, he needs to be alone. I didn't know he had a son. Yes. What happened to him? Peter? Peter was a gifted psychic child with an infinite capacity to love. He tried to help a young friend, a girl, who the doctor said was insane. But Peter was intuitive. He knew that in reality she was possessed, so he decided to help her. While reading one of Jack's books, he discovered the existence of the dream plane. So Jack knew where to find us. Yes, but Peter was only 12. Can you imagine? Only 12 and all alone, he penetrated the barrier and entered into the mind of this tormented girl. But he was not prepared. He had no psychic anchor. And so, he died there. He never told us. No. He wouldn't. Well, at least we know it's over. Over? Your Uncle Vondry still wanders the netherworld. You may have to deal with him yet. No matter what we have to do, we're never gonna let Lewis come back. 